So this is the old stuff that I did to organize my pantry about two years ago and it's obviously taking over. Things are not where they're supposed to be. I have labels but we don't buy chips anymore really so I don't want a bin for chips. We have like nuts and like dried fruit. We do still use um, this as a bread bin so I just need to make new labels for the new bins. And then down here you can see it's just mass chaos. It's really, really bad. So that bin back there is my baking goods, which actually functions pretty well, but I don't know what's back there. I don't know. So we're going to work on reorganizing this pantry. So these are the new bins that I'm going to be organizing with. I just picked them up from the Dollar Tree. Whenever I see these square ones that look like they have bubbles on them, I always pick them up as many as I possibly can, especially when they're in a neutral color because they don't always have them at Dollar Tree and I love the price and I think that those are the sturdiest organization bins that Dollar Tree has. I've organized with them many times before I have some projects upstairs in my room and in my kids room that I have already used those for. So now I'm just going to be pulling everything out of my pantry and then I'm going to be wiping everything down and then I'll start the organization process and I'm taking you guys along with me so make sure you don't click out because at the end I have some amazing before and after video footage that you're going to love. So as you can see, everything needed to be wiped down like desperately. This area right here is where we keep our honey and syrup and things have dripped down and they have just gotten so caked on that it was it was pretty bad also i wanted to invite you if you are new here to hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications and don't forget to check out my main channel it's just katie satilli it's listed in the description box below and i'd love it if you would follow me over on instagram i'd love to be friends over there and get to know each other better i'm always active in my stories every day and in my dms so head over to katie.satilli Dancing as one You and me are moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one Alright, everything is cleared out And I can sleep on here <laughs> It is definitely needing a good thorough wipe down this is where I always get really overwhelmed when everything is out of the cupboard um, I need to I don't like this color anymore for my cabinet so I'm gonna be using the white bins only but I need to go through all of the bins and figure out what is working and what's not working and all that stuff and then these were in the back and all the cans were under them which works really well, so we might still do that. I'm not sure. So I'm just heading in with my Method spray in the scent pink grapefruit. My mom actually picked this up for me from Target recently and I am absolutely loving it. It smells so good and it honestly did a really good job cleaning down these cabinets. I feel like this was the worst part here on the left. It like again, like I said earlier, it just had honey and syrup dripped down onto it. So it was like really caked on.
So I had sprayed some of that method on this little shelf area and I just let it sit. So while I was cleaning the other area, it was just soaking and kind of like pulling up that syrup and um, honey. So that just wiped down really quickly and that made it like super easy. Next step I'm going to be doing is placing these bins inside of the cupboard and I like to do this so that I can see how many I'm going to be working with, how many fit in there because these were a little bit differently shaped than the last ones that I was using. So I'm just going to be placing them in there and getting a feel for how many I have available and where I can be putting all of our food ingredients. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one, but baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall. All right, so I went ahead and placed the empty bins in here so I could kind of see what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna use these back here and. That is a spot for the blender, and I don't know if these are gonna work. They might work, I'm not sure. We'll see. can see after two years of having things stored in these bins they had holes in them they had totally gotten dirty and I'm so glad to be getting rid of them you know the Dollar Tree has really affordable options but some of their organization bins are not like the best quality and right here I had found some baby food from when my son was a baby and used to eat baby oatmeal I could not believe that I still had baby food in the cupboard <laughs> By the way, if you haven't noticed, my kids wanted to help me organize. They love doing organizing projects, which I think is so funny and cute. Especially my daughter, Fiona. She's really into organizing different spaces of our house. So I had them helping just by asking them to group things together, like put all the pasta together in a pile or put all the rice together in a pile. And that seemed to keep them busy and happy and it kind of helped me out at the same time. I made sure to only throw away foods that were expired. Um, we did have quite a few items that were expired. One of the oldest things that we found was from 2014. It expired in 2014, which means we probably bought it in 2012 or 2013 or something like that. I could not believe that I found something from such far back.
So now I'm just gonna be wiping down these wired bins because I wanna use them again, but they had like syrup and honey on them. So I went ahead and wiped them down. And my husband was going to be putting this son to the right down for a nap. And then he was gonna be taking the older two to the pool. Now that the older kids are at the pool and Hudson's down for a nap, I'm just going through and figuring out which items are gonna go into which bins and then placing them in those bins. And it was actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Let me just say that projects like these are like way worse in our heads than they actually end up being. Like this didn't take me that much time and it wasn't that stressful. It just, I had to set aside some time to do it. So make sure if you have a project like that to just put it on your to-do list and just tackle it. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So the day that I'm editing this video is a Monday, which is basically like our Saturday for my husband. He doesn't have work on Mondays. So we woke up, kind of slept in, had a lazy morning, and then we all piled in the car and drove to see how our new house is doing. If you are new here, we're gonna be buying a new build house coming up in the year 2021 that took me a minute to think about what year is the next year so we all went over to see if the house had been worked on at all so far we had only seen just like a dirt plot of land so today was so exciting because we actually saw them working on our house there was actual people working on the foundation and we got so excited it was such a fun morning just kind of seeing like the progress that's being done on the house we're not going to be moving in for a while but i don't know how long it takes people to build houses but anyways it is very exciting we are all getting super 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 excited over here to move we are moving from about a thousand square foot home into like 2400 square foot home so as you can tell, we are beyond thrilled to get a little bit more space. If you wanna watch our house hunting journey, make sure you head over to my main channel and check those videos out. So now that I'm done putting everything away, I wanted to show you guys a before shot so that you could remember how messy it looked before I worked on it. And then this is how it turned out and I am so thrilled with how it turned out. I feel like it looks beautiful. All right, so this is the finished product. I'm so happy with it. We had so much junk we just needed to get rid of that was expired and then we're moving some stuff out to the garage. So I wanted to show you really quick what we have in these. This 
is like syrups, peanut butter, honey, oil. This has pancakes, oatmeal. Yeah, just pancakes and oatmeal. This has nuts and dried fruit. This is for bread. Obviously, we need to go to the grocery store today. Um, over here, we have granola bars and popcorn. And then this is like for candy or gum. And then down here, I just put my foil and cling wrap and all that stuff. And then down in this bin, I put all of my noodles. So like mac and cheese, top ramen, pasta noodles, all that good stuff goes in there. And then I have just our blender. This is the only place that it fits in our kitchen. And then right here is all of our baking goods. So we've actually been using them a little bit more often because we've been making magnolia recipes. So like this past week we pulled this thing out and made some banana bread, which was really good. And then in this bin we just have rice and potatoes. So that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching another video with me today. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.